Broadband Internet is a catch-all term for three types of high-speed Internet access technologies, DSL, cable, and fiber optic cable. While broadband covers them all, they are vastly different in speed, materials, and most importantly, availability. DSL is commonly delivered through copper wire, piggybacking on telephone lines, with a typical download speed of 6 megabits per second. Cable is commonly delivered by copper wire laid underground, can carry both data and television signals, with a typical download speed of 25 megabits per second. Fiber optic cable is a tight bundle of ultra-thin optical wires buried underground and typically delivers download speeds of 250 megabits per second to 1 gigabit per second. In 2015, the Federal Communications Commission set the minimum internet connection speed to qualify as high-speed broadband at 25 megabits per second for downloading files and 3 megabits per second for uploading, commonly referred to as 25 down, 3 up. At 25 down, you can comfortably stream HD video, listen to internet radio, download media, or load websites. 3UP allows users to video chat, upload photos at a decent pace, and upload an HD video file slowly. But as soon as you start combining those activities, your connection will start to bottle up. This means at DSL speeds, users get into trouble quickly, cable shortly thereafter, and fiber users have virtually no problems at all. In 2020, Governor Kim Reynolds started her push for funding rural Iowa broadband expansion by sharing a BroadbandNow.com study that Iowa has the nation's sixth worst broadband access and on average the second slowest internet speeds in the country. That study found 81% of Iowans have access to broadband speeds and less than 20% of Iowans have access to low-priced broadband plans and less than half the state has access to fiber optic broadband. That access divide is split quite clearly into Iowa's cities and towns being the haves and the rural areas being the have-nots. But with the governor's efforts and strong funding from both state and federal legislation, that imbalance is slowly starting to level out.